the house was definitely a catalyst for the songs that uh, that I had in my in my working. When I went out to the house and and had a look and and just felt that location, I could feel I could feel the soul there. I could feel the music, and you just walk and, and you snap your fingers in in some of the rooms, and it, it just had this this breath. It had this life in it, and I thought this was going to be a, a perfect place to record some music. And then aside from the actual sound of the house, when I really got thinking about that location surrounded by the wheat fields, I could just put that straight in the, into my music. I do identify with the story behind the house because it's, it's essentially the same as how many farms that are out here now. It's abandonment. That eventually these small family farms will be abandoned. They'll be bulldozed over and there will be massive acreages that go into corporate farms. You know, I don't know if that's 50 years, 100 years, or 200 years, but the family farm, you've got to be farming thousands and thousands of acreages. And so these homesteads, they will be lost. I'm ready to dig down and face the challenges of that house and recording and hanging out with the band and, and feeling the music and the soul of that house. And that everybody is on the same page that just close your eyes and listen to that house. Listen to the instrument that that house is. Because that is so important to me that no matter what instruments that we bring into that house, we've got to make sure that we hear what the house has to say.